Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and our hybrids are still here so we do have to water them alongside our turnips. This is our first hybrid flower that we've actually noticed at least. Uh, so we want to take a little bit of care just to make sure we water them because the other ones we can replace easily but the hybrids not so much. Now today we've got a few things to do. We need to check, of course, the stock in um, Nookington's because we're still looking for a few things and you never know what you might find, so it's always worth checking. Uh, we are going to go to the city again because we desperately want to see Mr. Resetti and I can't bring myself to stop now that we started because you just know the day we don't do it will be the day that the game would spawn the reset center open, so... But also, we've got a few bells on us. Oops, just watering the river there. Um, and we're so close. We're like 10,000 bells away from being able to pay off our loan or our mortgage. So that's really exciting. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, we just may as well get these last couple of flowers here. There we go. That'll do pretty much for these flowers at least. So I'm thinking we should... Oh, they don't last very long, do they? Hey, Rod. Oh, I wonder if we have a new villager. If I opened the correct one, that would be good. Let's check the map, because Kusto has left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't appear so, unless, of course, the house don't appear on the map until you meet them. Uh, oh, there's another one here. So, Oh, is this one as well? Loads of withered flowers. There we go. Who's that around here? Oh, it's Gladys. <laughs> okay, we might as well go for the money rock before heading into Nooks. Because uh, we should... We'll probably find something we want to buy, but also it will just put us one step closer to being able to um, pay off our debt today, which we haven't done in a couple of months. We haven't paid off a loan in a long time. Ah, here's one. Is it? Oh, it's the pitfall. So that's not the one everyone was saying. They, everyone said they, they could see one here somewhere. Near the... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a gyroid. That could be a new one then. I think everyone was saying there's one near the bus stop. Maybe it was that one. Huh. So there's still two fossils uh, around here somewhere. Anyway. Back to what we're doing. We don't want to get too sidetracked today because we do have a goal of going to the city and paying off our debt. And also, Red's stuff has been restocked. Is that some... Freckles, what are you doing hiding behind the Able Sisters? I'm actually very sad that Kusto left. This was where Kusto's house was. And I actually liked the position of this rock in relation to Kusto's house. And now it just looks a bit weird. Um, but interestingly as well, Kusto is the first male villager to leave. Previously we had Miranda, Gigi, and Pango, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. So we'll go for this rock as well. Nope. Oh, there's, there's one, look. And it's a fossil there. Why do they spawn right on the edge of the grass? Nope. Okay, so we have a bulletin. Hopefully, it's announcing an event or something. Oh, Justin, we received a rare piece of lovely kitchen. Pretty sure we... Oh, wait, a lovely kitchen. Maybe we don't have the lovely kitchen. We do have a kitchen. Just not a lovely one. Okay, so we haven't found the money rock yet. I'm kind of wanting to pay off the debt as quickly as we can. That way, when we go and see Nook, hopefully we can kind of get the ball rolling for a house upgrade. A long overdue house upgrade. Okay, let's grab this. Nope. I really wish there was a way to put something next to a tree that isn't a hole. 
Um, so we don't have to dig a hole every time. Oh, they're growing! Yay! Okay. Nope. We are certainly rich with coconuts, that is for sure. We planted some more over here, so I wonder if they're taking as well. Oh, it is! Look how far away from the beach this is growing. So what do we got here? One. I want to dig it up. One. Two. Three the tree. Three tiles from the beach line. And then this way is... One. Two. And then a third here, presumably. So this one here is three, th three, so I'm guessing three is the limit, left or right and backwards. Interesting. Good to know. But for some reason, none would grow here. Hmm. Anyway. I'm sure after the weekend, we will be back to doing... Um, daytime let's plays because I've got a good feeling about today uh oh we're slipping off the money rock oh we still got it somehow um, I forgot we just picked up a whole bunch of stuff we've got some things to sell as well there we go they need to go into... Let's put the fossils in here. We need to go and give those gyroids to Brewster. I'm thinking we should pay our debt first if we've got... Actually, we won't have enough, will we? No, we're going to have to see... We're going to have to see Nook first. And sell some things. Close though, I think we need 30,000, so we're only, what, nearly 2,000 bells away? I right, might as well grab some shells, three more shells. Oh, I can't get through the holes I dug. Yeah, and also we're at episode 54, which I'm pretty sure, like, we're coming up to... The same amount of episodes that we spent on the GameCube. But I feel like we haven't had as many events yet. So the next event is... Or the next main of like holiday event is Bunny Day, isn't it? So I guess we'll just have to wait for that. It is very calming playing in the evening though. It's definitely, a, for me, sitting here, it's definitely a different vibe, just walking around town at night time when the lights are on, the music's, like, quiet and low. Compared to daytime, where it's a bit more upbeat. Okay, so we want to get rid of pretty much everything here. I'm tempted to sell these just to get the money. But we won't. We'll be good. We're going to have to come back anyway because I'm sure there's going to be things in here we're going to want to buy. Does any of these look silver? It's hard to tell, isn't it? No. Oh, Nook refuses to stock multiple cedar trees. I don't think he wants a forest built here. Okay, let's check out the upstairs, and then at least this part will be out of the way, and we can finally get into some things. Oh, a red bed! Oh, that's the lovely kitchen! It is a rare item, isn't it? How much is that going to cost? What have we got here? Is that a daffodil? Oh, look! This is what we were saying! It's not green, though, but I kind of want it. What is it? What do you describe it as? Is it a doormat? Yes, yes, it's a boxing mat! We're going to take that because I didn't think mats were a thing in this game. I and mean, you can walk over it. Um, this is pretty cool. But we kind of have to buy this, don't we? 
Oh, that's not as bad as I thought. 2,280 bells. Thank you kindly. Very well, that's 2,280 bells, sir. The rest can kind of wait, can't they? We're not too bothered. We've got most of these things already, actually. Um, we can put the lovely kitchen in the storage. You know what? We might have to... S no, I don't want to sell the gyroids. Let's go and give the gyroids to Brewster to free up some space. Then we'll do a bit of a fruit run uh, to make some more bells. Um, and then we'll come back. I'm not going to bother planting the cedar trees today. We'll stick them in our letters. Because... You know. We want to save up to get a whole bunch of saplings, basically. And then do a whole load at once. Because it's much more fun planning out, like, where five or six trees are going to go. Rather than just doing, like, one a day, I think. Uh, but let's go and have a look if we can put this boxing mat in the house. It's such a shame that it's blue. If it was green, it would have been so perfect for the feng shui. But now it's getting me thinking, is there any other types of mats? Maybe a bath mat or a different colored boxing mat? Um, I don't think it's going to look too out of place either. But it's just so unusual in earlier games to have items. Oh, I don't want it there. Let's try dropping it from this side. It's just unusual in the earlier games, sorry I was saying, um, to have items that you can walk over. So we've got a bit of a doormat there. That's kind of cool. I like it. Okay, this is our house. It's not looking too bad. I know you've seen it a bunch though, haven't you? So I'm sure there's some changes we could make. Uh, we need to get rid of these tables at some point. All of, all of this has got to go. We're desperately waiting for that pineapple bed. Um, oh, I was meant to put the uh, lovely kitchen in the storage, but I forgot. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm tired. Um, so let's put it in our temporary storage for now. Okay, how much money do we need? I'm so disorganized. 5,000 bells. Okay, so there aren't any coconuts, so it's going to have to be oranges, probably. But we'll go to Brewster first. I was hoping that was going to be a lucky clover. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anyone visiting today either, which is a shame. I feel like we haven't had a proper visitor in ages other than Pascal. Where's Sahara? Where is Wendell? Hey, hey, bye. <laughs> hey, bye. Um, we'll go straight into Brewster. Hand over these gyroids. A mini rustoid in fine condition. Yes, we've got, I've got three you can have. As long as you haven't already got them. Uh, a mega allo alloyed in fine condition. When a gyroid's with me, you know it's safe. You ever want one back, just say the word. We haven't doubled up yet, so at some point, I'm sure, we're going to hand over a gyroid that we've already got in storage. And it'll be interesting to see how Brewster handles that situation. I'm sure he'll just say, we've already got one. Can't carry anymore. I'm sorry. And then we get to sell it. Apollo, hey, how you doing? Have you recovered since Kusta abandoned you? Yawn. What was I thinking? Skipping my afternoon nap. Staying up tonight is going to be tough. That's literally how I feel right now for some reason. <laughs> Say, do you like playing around more during the day or you're a nocturnal type? Usually I am probably nightlife, I would say. But today I just feel a little bit drowsy. Uh, the two that work at the museum are night owls too. During the day they uh, look ready to keel over. Celeste is the worst. The second you stop talking, she's out like a light poor thing. It's hard to blame her though, especially since the place is so quiet. I'd like to nap there actually. <laughs> you could go in the roost and have a hot chocolate or something and just kind of nap in the corner. Um, I know it's their job to be there, but it can't be easy to work like they do. It's nice that they care. Okay, let's grab some fruit. This is going to take a while actually. We should have sold the gyroids. Do we risk it and do a seashell run instead? Uh, we'll keep our slingshot on us. And then I think we're going to drop the rest of our items 
Just here for now. And we'll go and clean up the seashells, because sometimes you can find some valuable seashells. Because uh, I really want to pay off the debt today. I don't, I don't think we've got any money in the bank either. Um, but we should do, we should do the shells more often anyway. Encourage more things to spawn in. Oh, this one is growing right on the edge of the beach. Interesting. How many can we carry? Four more. Okay, we probably will do it in a couple of trips, I think. All we need is one good shell. We could do the fossils, but maybe we'll save those up and do them at the weekend, I think. Wait, is it Friday? No, it's Thursday today, isn't it? That's okay. We've got time. For a second, I was like, oh, we could trade in our turnip and sell our turnip, but it hasn't been enough time yet. I mean, we could. We'd probably get a few thousand bells for it as it is now, but then that would just be silly. Um, what have we got here? Scallops. Oh, two scallops. Do we need that many scallops? We've got four in storage, so we'll sell these ones. There we go. Did I not sell the oranges? No. Okay, good. So what are we? 2,000 bells away. We're going to end up with no money going to see what red has available. No, but I'm desperate to pay off the loan today. We could raid our storage. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in the storage. Freckles, you look you look a little bit spaced out, I'm not gonna lie. Hey Shorty, check it out! The other day I bought blue flooring on the TV shopping channel and I got an extra one free! But now I have two and it just seems kind of excessive. Maybe I should sell it. What do you say, Shorty? How does 1375 bells sound for my brand new blue flooring? No deal. Really? I totally thought you'd be interested. No, sorry, not for that price. You're trying to rob me. It's a real shame the uh, stuff doesn't land on the patterns. Okay, so this is even this is only going to get us 1500 bells. So we're going to have to do a couple of these. Uh, lost count already. Four more. There we go. Okay, let's head back and sell these. And then we're pretty much there. We'll just have to do one more sort of half run, I think. If it was any bigger, I would just say leave it till tomorrow until we get the next money rock or the coconuts grow back. But I'm, I really kind of just want to do it today. I feel like it's been a long time coming. Uh, sell what? Hmm. A million oranges. Very citrusy. <laughs> sell. There we go. Ah, for all that, I'll give you 1,500 bells. So close. Okay, let's go and grab. What do we need? 600. 600 more, so just, what, two trees worth of oranges, basically. Although we do need more in case red's got a cool item, but we can always go back to red, so it's not the end of the world. All these trees will go eventually. There we go, that should be enough, but we'll just get a few more if we can. There's one up here. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I think that's, uh... Oh, we could probably grab one more if we see another one. This is a really nice area for some trees, actually. If we ever get any more fruit, we'll definitely plant one right on this spot here. We've learned our lesson by planting in a new spot. The first tree should always go in an existing spot. That way, there's a higher chance it will um, grow into a full tree. Okay, this should be enough to go and power off our debt if I've remembered it correctly. Super excited. That means tomorrow we should have a new room, hopefully. Where do you get your bells from, Nook? Uh, thanks much for shopping. Come again soon. We'll, we come here every day, actually. Um, but yes, I'm also looking into getting a second copy of Let's Go to the City so we can arrange some traveling. Um, not so much just to go and see another town, although that would be kind of cool if we can get like a save file. But mostly to try and encourage the lost cat, Katie or Caitlin, to um, visit. I think even Blanca. I think that's how you meet Blanca as well, possibly. Not sure. But definitely, like, and the main reason being is the Apple TV item is locked behind Katie. So we need to we need to meet Caitlin and Katie in order to try and get that item. So that's kind of why I'm thinking about doing it. Uh, I'm not sure whether I should get another Wii and set that up because that could be doable, or we'd have to use the Wii U. Hmm. Decisions. Okay, here we go. Three, two, 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 two. Yay, your remaining debt is zero bells! Thanks for stopping by. Yahoo! Uh, no more debt for me, my house is all paid for. Always make a point of checking in here. Ooh! Oh, a TV with a VCR. Very retro. Okay, so... Now, we, before we go to the city or whatever, we have to speak to Nook to try and trigger the expansion. So we'll head back that way. Whoop. Try and stay on the path as much as possible because I'm sometimes not so good at staying on the path. So we try our best when we can. Um, so I think it's a, I think it only takes a day. So we should get a new one tomorrow. I don't know if it's the upstairs next or the basement. Uh, but they're the only two rooms you can have. So, huh, what is this? I see Maury, you really paid it all off. Amazing, huh? It was so cheap you didn't even break a sweat? Ye no, I would never say that. Uh, huh, I suppose so. Well, since you're going for the, how you say, gusto, why don't we just add another floor of space? It costs a bit more, but what do you say? Let's do it! I knew it! Very good! Yes, you're a real go-getter, Mori! So, what colour roof you like on your new, uh, newly rebuilt house? Should we change the colour? I feel like we should go for a traditional... Uh, no, I feel like we should have red on the last expansion. Let's go for green. Very good! Yes, your new roof is going to be green! Got it! Now, the construction should be completed by tomorrow. It's the fastest construction in the world. <laughs> so get ready to be impressed. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. So that's that triggered. Might as well buy these flowers while we're here. Is that a silver slingshot? It's so hard to... I don't know what the sprites look like. It looks a little bit different. No, that's the fishing rod. No, just a slingshot. Okay, we're just gonna, while we're in here, grab these flowers, since we've got a little bit of money left over. And just so we can plant them outside. In fact, we should plant them somewhere else around town and cover up some of the grass that's deteriorating, I think. And something cool I noticed the other day, you can literally point to something and buy it, so we'll buy this one, look. Oh, it's not working now. 
The other day I pointed to one that was like, I accidentally clicked one that was like the other side of the table and I brought that one instead. <laughs> but it didn't seem to work just then. Right, this is the last bag of flowers, so okay, that's the flowers out of the way, good. Okay, thanks much for shopping, come again soon. Yes, I, oh, I wonder what our point situation is like. We haven't checked our points in a little while. Usually I'll just dump the flowers here, but I'm going to go and put them down at, towards the slope area. To try and grow back some of the... You'll see what I mean. It's not necessarily that bit, but we could do it there. It's this bit here, we really need to kind of plant some on, so... And then we'll have to water them. Oh, it's put one in front of me. That's okay. I wanted to do it without standing on the actual tiles. But I'm not going to be able to, am I? Because it's going to put one where I stood again. Okay, so we'll just do that here. This should cover it. Okay, and now we need to water them. And if we avoid these tiles and water them regularly, they should slowly start to turn this little area back to normal grass. Although, I'm not really noticing any regrowth. Um, I know that if the animals stand on it, it also affects it. So, I wonder if they avoid flowers. Huh. Philbert, do you stand on flowers? Okay, time to head to the city. We've got a couple things to do up the city. We have um, to check to see if the reset center is open. And also to see Red's new stock. We don't have any money to buy anything. But tomorrow we will. So we're just going to have a little look. It's one of my favorite things to do is check the stock of things. So good evening, Captain. Nice to see you're on time as always. To the city, please. Okay, we made it. A little bit cloudy. I always like to comment on what it's like in the city, because you'd think the weathers would match up, but they don't. Thank you, Cap, and see you in a little while. Okay, we're going to go to Reds, but first we'll check to see the, if the reset center is open. Please! Come on! No! I don't know what's going on here. I feel like... I was feeling really confident that we would get in today. Okay, let's go ahead and see reds. It should have restocked yesterday. So let's see what we're up against today. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a piece of artwork. I don't know if he has a piece of artwork every day. Uh, every restock. Well, this was here last time, wasn't it? What is this? Uh, oh, cousin, I'm so glad someone with an artistic eye finally stepped into my humble shop. I fell in love with a solemn painting. Uh, the first time I laid eyes on her, I had to beg and plead with the previous owner to sell. Old Red was on his paws and knees for that one. Now, if you had my drithers, I'd like to keep it around forever, but my number one best cousin wants it, then I guess I can part with it for a mere 3,920 bells. Well, we will. We will come back tomorrow and get that. Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know. But I'm not too impressed with these two items. What, what are you doing, Rez? I was hoping for a bit more than that. I've got to be honest. I like the big extravagant rare items. Where are the rare items? <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're going to head back. And I'm just going to lay a few more paths. Hey, Scoot. Uh, it's so on. As soon as the city lights go on, it's on. Zip zoom. I think, I think Scoot's here to try and sneak into a nightclub or something. <laughs> Uh, bus to Moriland. Want to go to Moriland? Yes. We just want to go and lay a path. It only takes sort of five minutes, probably. I just want to put one over to the um, to the museum, actually, and probably join up the one at the town hall. We have arrived. Thank you, Captain. Lovely journey as always. Okay, let's uh, 
head down towards the museum. I just want to expand the path a little bit. Still undecided what to do about it. If we should change the colour palette of it a little. Right, what way do we want to come off here? So we know where the house is going to be. So now, this, this path here is in the way. Because it's going to be one, two, three, four. So these two tiles need to go, unfortunately. Can we lay one here? We can, so we're going to have to get rid of these two. Um, that's the only way we're going to be able to do it. We'll put one here temporarily, I think. And deal with it if a house ever moves there. Okay, so where do we want this to come across? Do we want to lead it up to the front door, I'm guessing? Just fill these holes in, so we've got some space to work with. Um, right, let's see what happens. How close can we get to the museum? Um, oh yes, we, can, we can't put one directly in front of the door. So annoying. In that case, I think I want to come from the side. Like, like this. Um, otherwise, it just looks really bizarre having like a mist tile. We're just going to extend this. Nothing too fancy. There we go. And... Ah, if that house wasn't there, we could have expanded it over to the house. But maybe... Hmm. Okay, maybe we're going to have to do this, I think. And kind of mirror this bit. Sometimes if you put more corners in, it looks a little more natural. Uh, oops. And that's the, we'll just put two more here. That was the last one. We'll just put two more. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. The house is going to go, if a house moves in here, its front door will be there, and we can't lay a tile there. So that's a little annoying. That'll be okay for now. And I think we'll just join this up as well. Just for the sake of completeness. There we go. And we'll do the same. We'll just turn the corner here and just we'll just join it up, I think. Oh, where are they dropping? There we go. Ah, oh, it went behind me. go. Oh, it's done it again. I'm slight, oops, slightly facing the wrong direction, so they're dropping behind me. Um, but here, we should be able to put some trees in here. I'm hoping they would grow here. I just wonder if this one will grow. I don't know if this one would grow. Oh, I don't know if this one would grow. Let's plant some oranges just as a tester. And if they grow, we'll change them for cedar trees. Ah! Hey. Oh, hey, it's the TV with the VCR. You've got the brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Nice, new and mint condition. Can I buy it off you? Say 675 bells. Okay. Great, thanks. Here you go. Exactly, 675 bells. No change needed. Anything to keep Apollo happy and stop him complaining about ball games 
on his front lawn. That's the vibe Apollo gives us. Okay, I'm just trying to look for an orange tree. I think we've <laughs> we've harvested them all. Uh, we might have to change the path up there. I'm not really happy with the way it's looking. Um, oh, you can do that! <gasps> it didn't work the other day. What? No way. Yeah, I'm not. Lo I'm not liking how this is looking. Um, we might look. <laughs> what? It didn't work the other day. That's so cool. I think we're going to have to just hope that a house doesn't move there. Right, we're just going to plant some trees here just as a tester because I want to see if they'll grow that close to the cliff. I don't think they will, so that's why we're just using oranges. Um, if these three don't grow, or if the two outer ones don't grow, we'll plant two cedar trees in between here and here. But this one would definitely grow, so... We might get, we'd like to get three in, but we might only get two in. We'll see how these two fare. And now we're going to have to chop this tree down because it's in the way. I'm changing the path. I didn't like how many, how it was doing like a U-turn. Oh, you just can't do it with the spade in your hand. Okay. Right, so let's think about this. Maybe it would be better to go around the back of the tree. So this is where a house would go. Because we know it's four by three with the sign to the right. Okay, we're changing things a little bit. This this whole thing's got to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, decision has been made. I know that's the kind of direction we run, but I'm thinking about bringing it up here and then round the back of the house. Um, like so. Oh, I like that we can just scuff it over like that. I don't know if that's the right word. Scrape it, scuff it. And then, oh, maybe we should have a crossroads. Yeah, let's have a crossroads. Okay, let's do a bit of a crossroads here and see if we can somehow join them up in a way that doesn't look so random. We're going to have to get rid of some more trees. So we want to join it. Yeah, we want to avoid the house altogether, don't we? So this has got to come up here. I don't mind going around the back of the house. We could go around the back of the house, or we could just join it up here. Um, so that's to the museum, this is to the town hall. got the crossroads we want to keep do we want to go around the back of the house that would mean coming here and then up I think that yeah do you know what I think let's try that if it looks too weird we can always change it I've always said I want to try and do not so perpendicular so that would that would help wouldn't it so let's do this well, I'm taking longer on this than I thought, but that's okay. Hopefully you don't mind. <laughs> well, I, I don't feel like as energetic today. I just, I think, I think I'm just tired. I think, after, I think the cold is gone now, but now I'm just kind of hit with the tiredness. Um... There we go. So if a house, the house would fall in that area there. Do 
Do we want to bring it even further? No. That's okay like that, isn't it? I was thinking of going up and across, but that's a little bit too perpendicular. Too, too many, like, long straight corners there. So, that adds a little bit of character, I think. And it avoids the house if one is to move in here. Now we need to put some flowers there, for example, to get the grass to heal. But I am thinking by summer, we're just going to be in a desert anyway. <laughs> um, but there, there we go. So, I think we haven't even got anything to sell because... Um, Apollo brought our TV with VCR. So there we go. We are of course wearing the Shamrock hat. Probably it's only a few more days until Shamrock Day. So we're just going to continue wearing that until I think it's the 14th. So a few more days. Um, but yeah, that's probably a good place to stop it. I took longer than I thought. So apologies. But I think now the path looks much better. And we've got a route to the museum now as well. Um, so we're going to have to just try our hardest to stick to the paths. When we when we go in, I don't mind so much if we're looking for fossils or if we're like harvesting fruit trees. But if we're going from nooks to the museum, we really should stay on the path. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you're still enjoying this series. Please leave a like if you are. It helps out so much. And, and drop a comment as well. Let me know what you're up to today. What things you're doing in Animal Crossing if you're playing or anything like that any ideas you have for the series or any games you'd like to see played alongside city folk thank you so much for watching thank you of course to the channel members um and the top tier members as well thomas zander and caroline as well thank you so much um for your contributions and the support for this channel it means a lot and it keeps uh, videos coming for everyone to enjoy so thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye